All right, so here we have a mind ray monitor. This one happens to be a CPM 12, but the procedure should be similar on uh, various mind ray monitors. Uh, all I've done here is I've taken the uh, network port and plugged it into my network here in the back. Um, that's really all you should have to do is make sure that it's connected to the same network as whatever you're going to be running the charting software on, because otherwise they can't talk directly. They need to be on the same network. Then uh, you can go to menu here and you hit maintenance and you hit user maintenance. And the password here, I think the default at least is uh, eight, uh, six times. So then we do that. Then uh, we get to this user maintenance screen. And here we need to go to network setup just to make sure we got this all set up the way we need. Now here, if you have uh, Wi-Fi, if yours is capable of Wi-Fi, you should be able to select it here or, and connect to your Wi-Fi network, or in this case, it's just plug and play. So it's just directly plugged in. The thing that you wanna do is for address type, uh, you don't want it to be manual, you want it to be DHCP. So I'm gonna do that. And then um, the funny thing is you actually have to hit okay here to accept that. And then you should see in the bottom here, see this little, these computers here, you should be able to see that. And then you can also confirm uh, the IP address if you go in here again. Now, the second time, it should have actually assigned you an IP address. So that is the IP address that this monitor has on this network at this time. Okay, so now back on your computer here, you're gonna to wanna to go to anesthesiacharting.com. And then if you hit the menu and go to the automatic Vitals tracking page, you can actually go and download the, the desktop application for your given platform. I've got it, got it up and running here, and um, you have to be signed in. You don't have to have uh, a paid account yet, but you do have to have a real account uh, and be logged in in order for you to connect to a real monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit chart sedation case. And now, here's where you'd normally start filling out case info, but if you just wanna check the connection with your monitor, which is what we're doing here. I'm gonna hit configure monitor. And now I'm gonna specify mind right here. Go continue. And there it found it. So it searched the network for the monitor and then uh, managed to, because there was only one that automatically selects it. And then it shows you the data that it's getting from the monitor, which Right now, as you look over here, you'll notice there's really not a whole lot going on. So I'm gonna close that out. Actually, we'll just hit menu, go all the way out. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on this little uh, pulse oximeter. As soon as that starts getting a reading here, we should see that pop up. This is just, I'm just doing the pulse ox because it's one of the simplest things to check real quick here. All right, so now we're starting to get a reading. And we have a number, so that number should now show up over here. And sure enough, oh, there it is. It gives you an SpO2 of 98% and a heart rate there of 67. So this is how you can check to make sure you're getting the data. Um, if there were multiple monitors, they would show up here in a list and you could select the one that you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say use this connection. And now you'll see this blue bar across the top. This is gonna stay here and show you the data it's getting from the monitor the whole time. Now. Um, throughout the case, as you get to vitals checkpoints where you should be recording data, rather than asking you to enter it, it's just gonna pull it from uh, the monitor directly. So that's really it. That's all you gotta do to get it set up. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any trouble, sometimes when you first connect it, if you're having any trouble finding it, you can actually enter the, um, the IP address manually if you need to. Um, so you can, we showed you on the monitor how to get to that before. You can go ahead and connect directly if you need to do that. Um, the instructions for kind of what you need to do to set up are here. They walk you through everything we just showed you as well. So it should be pretty straightforward and you should be off to the races. Thanks for watching.